Looney Farm Guy here, and in this video, we'll be looking at the update to the Schnuffelstuck by the MTL modding team on Farming Simulator 22. This is for all platforms, PC, Mac, and console. I'm on PS5 here on Rock Crawl for this test, and it's 1.38 megabytes to download, nine slots on console. What is it? Well, it is a custom made dolly, that's what it is, and being a dolly, You'll find it under dollies. There it is, $7,500 to purchase. Uh, nine slots as mentioned. We have um, change log is added new tire brands and uh, added new configuration beacons, rear hydraulic and frame rebuilt and adaptation to current patch and wheel steering angle adjusted. So we're gonna look at all those things. However, first of all, Trailerborg, Michelin, BKT, Vertistein, and Trailerborg are all tires now available. Uh, the other the other tires, there's no options yet, uh, but we do have an option in Trailerborg. We have wide tires, off-road tires, and narrow tires. Yes, narrow tires. So if you're running crop destruction, the narrow tires will not destroy crop. So that's nice to have. Beacons, you have none. We have original both, so just the uh, original style beacons. Um, <clears throat> original right and left, and then we have LED both right and left or none. So no charge for the LED lights. Front hitch, we have a trailer hitch, which is a pin hitch, or we can go with a ball hitch. Main colors, all the standard colors. Uh, lighting support, that is that back piece there. You can change that color. Uh, rear hydraulic color, we'll make that purple so you can see that. Hitch color is white, we can make it yellow just so you can see that. And then rim color, we can make blue. And then a license plate if you choose. So lots of color choice and a few nice options there so what does it do so just a brief overview of what you can do with this it comes just like so you hook it up like so there's the beacons we have signals we have reverse lights all that fun stuff nothing else uh, there's nothing else that uh, oops that is uh, operated but it has Every, you can hook anything up to it. So we have a ball hitch trailer here. So yes, it'll hook up to a ball hitch trailer. Oh, if you're wondering, uh, if you hook it up to something that needs a PTO, it will run that as well. So even though it doesn't show a PTO, uh, there, there really, there is one on there, and steering. Uh, so as you can see, oh, yes. So steering axles go forward, but when you go reverse, they stay straight. So kudos to the MTL modding team. That is very helpful. So there's, that's where the pin hitch hooks up to, right up there. <clears throat> so. What are you using this for? Well, if you're using a forage harvester and you're towing a trailer, um, you can hook this up to it if it's a trailer that's not, the harvester won't hook up to. Um, you can this, you can use this behind anything with a, with anything with a hitch. So here you go, you can use it as a fifth wheel for a semi trailers. Now what about two-point hitch? We'll back it up to this um, cultivator and yes, so you can see here, it's got a three-point hitch on the back so you can use use it to tow. Yeah, there's, there's many, 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 many different applications for this. Anything that has, any implement that has a hitch, harvester, uh, tractor, uh, semi truck, uh, even a three point link that has like so you can pull that behind 
Now, some of them may work better than others because of the, uh, uh, oh, I can't unhook it. We'll just unhook the whole thing. Uh, now, because uh, there, there isn't um, a height adjustment on the three-point link, some implements, this one perhaps may not work. Uh, you'll have to experiment a little bit, but it will hook up. And there you go. That's the update. Change log 1.2.00 to the Schnuffle Stuck by the MTL modding team. Thank you all for watching. I'm Looney Farm Guy, and remember, it's only a game, so till next time, bye for now.